Hey, friends. Hey, how y'all doing? Thank y'all for y'all likes, y'all comments, and y'all subscriptions. The song right before I um, clicked on the record was And I by Sierra. Worthiness. Grounding. Cosmic power. And juju. Listen. You hear that train? Y'all hear that? It's something about to come in big. It's, it's, it's about to be a big load come in for you, baby. You hear me? I'm hearing your cups are filled. Your cups are overflowing. Your cups are filled. That is what I'm hearing. Your cups, your cups with an S. Your cups are filled. Your cups are. It's, it's like a, an alignment of your body, your mind, and your soul. It's, in, it's a complete alignment at this moment with you. You hear that confirmation? You are in complete alignment and your cups are about to be filled. You are, you are not about to be empty anymore. Nothing is about to be lacking anymore. Nothing is about to be missing anymore. You're going to have a good time in the filling of these cups. That's what I'm hearing. Your spirit says, you're going to have a good time in the filling of these cups. Oh, that's good. Mm. You're in complete alignment. You are in complete alignment, bro. Boo. <laughs> yes, you are. Grounded. Kept a promise. Kept a promise. I mean, it's just the promises you keep. And the faith you hold. Somebody could be a seer. Somebody could also be a tarot reader. Your birthday could be July 2nd. July 14th, March 14th, 1414 could be significant. The angel number 1414 could be very significant. Favorite color could be burnt orange. And believe it or not, Whoever, someone actually could like the culture of snakes. Yeah. Nothing evil, nothing bad. That just could be something that you like. Okay. Like people like birds. Someone could love spicy food. <laughs> Real spicy, a lot of us do, but I'm talking about like you are somebody who actually buys the peppers and maybe cut them up or make your own dry pepper flake seasoning, whatever it is. You're that person, even though it's because it's a lot of us just me saying, Oh, somebody could like spicy food that's so general, but to break it down. You somebody that goes buys the peppers and makes maybe your own red pepper flake on here. So 
Someone could practice candle magic in a good way. And that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. If you practice this candle magic in a good way. There is definitely a man ready to lay with you on here. <laughs> the AC clicked on right when I said that outside. Because this window is like right here. And the AC thing is like right there, y'all. Oh. But whatever. This is temporary. Get some tarot. Yep. Uh, this, I feel like this is a gift from the universe. Saying that you are so worthy of what is about to come to you. Also, I'm hearing that the whatever you have been doing, your rituals you have been sticking with or attempting to stick with because not all things are easy at times you know they are bringing you about a powerful manifestation empress empress whatever it is you grounded yourself enough You're worth everything coming to you. You walked away from things that no longer serve you. Begin to pour into yourself. The love you were giving others, you begin to communicate that love with them. Six of Swords. And now you're being, you're being, ooh, let me tell y'all something. I'm going to tell you what you're doing. You're being guided now. Yes, you are. You are being guided to move out of the way to not have a fear of change. Yeah. Because, listen, you see that the, um, ooh, the tower is at the bottom of the deck. Look at that. Look at that. You see, you see that where you are is not yielding you with this seven of pentacles and this three of, um, swords is not yielding you any reward. No, if that's a job, if that's a place of residency, if that's a community, whatever it is, you're not being yielded the rewards you need. And you are in a state right now where you have been guided because you have been patient. You are being guided away from all of the destruction, from all of the stagnancy. From all of the heartbreak. From having to preserve everything you got. Because if you spend a little, you ain't going to have enough of this. You see? Yeah, you you are you are coming up out of that shit. I mean, I was trying to be nice without cussing so much, y'all. But you about to come up out of that shit, boo. Okay? You about to come up out of that shit. You have been delivered. Okay? I don't like men's no more. <laughs> I like women. <laughs> Ooh, Lord, I'm first there. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Go let you know you have been delivered. Okay? God is guiding you into a deeper place. This right here is no more. This right here is no more. 
is what I'm hearing. This, this, just, uh, this, it's some stagnancy. It's a lot of lack of growth for you, for you, and not even a lack of growth within you. It's just for you to succeed. Not enough. It's just not enough is what I'm hearing. And I see justice. Your cups are getting ready to overflow. Let me show y'all something. Look at them cups. You see all them empty ass cups? What I just say about the six of wands and the death and the tower, your stagnancy, right? You see how your cups were so empty? Your cups have been empty for so long. But look how the divine is coming in with a double portion on your ass. Baby, you just can't get... This shit is good. This is some good shit. He coming in with a double portion and filling up all your empty cups. Filling up all your empty cups, man. Oh, my goodness. Tell me that ain't good. Tell me that ain't good. Coming in, filling them things up with a double portion. Double for your trouble is what they say. Ain't that what they say? Double for your motherfucking trouble. Mm hmm. Clarifies uh, cosmic power, Holy Spirit. Six of Cups. And the seven of swords in reverse. I'm, gonna, I'm telling y'all. There has been a lot of. A lot of healing. A lot of childhood healing. You've taken that bandage off. Because let me tell you. A lot of times. You need to that that wound is not really supposed to be bandaged in some way. Let me tell you why. Even though, yeah, it does protect from airborne bacteria and things, but I'm gonna tell you why. It that wound heals faster when it's unprotected. When when you ain't got no bandage on it, it heals faster. I'm not lying. Right? So that's what you've been doing. You took the bandages off and you begin to heal. You begin to draw your energy back to you. You begin to confess those things that were not of you, but these were things that you were partaking in. Wow, you became so much more conscious. And the things that were would be malicious, you begin to have regret if if if, if you if you did them, you know. And that's how you know you were healing. That's how you that's how you know you were becoming this cosmic being. That's how you know you were becoming this mystic woman. You were grounding yourself. You were earning. You were earning the rewards that are about to come unto you. You were earning them. Clarify the juju. Will of fortune. Ooh, I told y'all. And the high priestess. I told y'all some one y'all y'all could be a reader, somebody could be a seer. You either tarot reader or a seer. You do operate in candle magic. I don't know how, but you do. I'm here for yourself. But you do, but it's good candle magic. You love, also, you love hot peppers. Like, I don't know why, but you do. Okay. <laughs> A lot of your candle magic deals with dealing with peppers, too, I'm hearing. I don't know what that is about. But whoever you are, you're not... You're not someone 
who is um, out to manipulate anyone's life. You just want a better life for yourself. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And I'm hearing your change is here. Look at the Queen of Wands and the Five of Cups came out. I'm hearing your change is here. Because you, you've been disappointed for so long. You know what I'm saying? You're so charismatic. You're so vivacious. You understand? And you've been disappointed and saddened and then discontent and let down for so long. You hear me? For so long, you've been in the, this energy. This energy of stagnancy and trauma and upset. Having to always preserve. I've seen the ace, ace of pentacles. There's definitely a change. A change has come. A change that is going to affect your future in a good way. You have... You, man, I'm, let me tell you. This change is going to affect your future in a good way. Empress, you just want to keep on coming on out. So I guess I just let you come on out then, girl. Uh, Miss Empress Okay Let me tell you Somebody could love Doc Martens Remember you know the boot Doc Martin? Somebody could really love those Like you wear them till this day I'm just picking up somebody Who's a real big um, Starbucks drinker like heavy on the Starbucks. Pink drink. Somebody could be from Michigan. New York. Chicago. Also, what I'm hearing is someone could have gotten pregnant by someone that they may didn't intend to get pregnant by, but hey, it happened, right? And this person is not in the picture. So you're feeling like you got to stick this out on your own. But I'm hearing everything is going to be okay. This life change for you, which was an unexpected event. Oh. Yeah, it's going to help you. It's I, I got the Empress with the Devil. <laughs> it's going to help you. It's going to help you with your dependency. It's going to help you, okay? With the things that you may have um, been addicted or obsessed with. This this pregnancy and you going through it, it's going to grow you up. It's going to it's going to ma uh, mature you, especially spiritually. Five of Pentacles. So yeah. So this is going to be a positive change in all of this. It's not a loss. You know, you're, you're going to grow up. This is a lesson to be learned for you. Whoever I'm speaking with that you may be pregnant at the moment. And this person um, who you're pregnant by is not in the picture. Okay. All right. Moving right along. And for all else, honey, just know that baby... You, you you out here beautiful, you creative. Uh, some of you may have um, some type of marketing business you want to start. Some some of you want to start your own uh, business um, from your creative endeavors. I'm hearing um, there's someone who crochets. Um, if you do crochet, that is that will be a good business. I'm hearing cro begin to crochet uh, baby products. Baby products. That's your market, okay? Because there's going to be a time where that is all that is going to be very, very needed, okay? That's what I'm hearing. The Ace of Wands that I told you. 
y'all some of some of you do y'all want to create a business with from your hobbies from the things that you love to do and you know that you can generate that extra income and i'm just here to tell you that that is something that the universe is saying do but in the meantime you're still about to be blessed with the things that you don't even know you're about to be blessed with oh i see some beautiful things i see a new car for some of you i see a new home i see this new business and i also see a husband and, and when i mean a husband you don't even have to i'm gonna say this because a lot of you don't believe a lot of people don't believe in marriage anymore this can be your domestic partner but he yours and you is his and you is his i was married now i said i was married now <laughs> Look, Ten of Cups at the bottom of the day. Yeah, there's about to be new ventures. There's about to be new ventures. That's beautiful. A new love, a domestic harmony. Uh, what I just say, honey. An emotional, stable partner. Someone who isn't going to juggle you. That's beautiful. Well, I think I'm going to leave it here because... Manifested this with the magician at the bottom of the day. Whoever you are, this person that does, like I said, you do candle magic, you have manifested this new beginning that is about to come in. And I want to say congratulations. I'm so, so proud of you. I'm so, so proud of everybody because God has taken you and He's getting ready to take you out of with this. Remember, with this six of wands, He's getting ready to take you out of stagnancy and disappointment and heartbreak. He's getting ready to bring you into a level of reward and harvest. You, some, you know, some things that you can overflow and give to others and still have more more you know because he knows your heart he know he understands who you are he yes yes indeed so i just want to thank you guys so much and yes honey <laughs> if you like the way i read please like comment and subscribe thank you